In one of the previous videos, we discussed the vertebral basilar artery insufficiency test, or the VAT, which is a special test used to determine whether or not somebody has sufficient blood flow through the vertebral arteries ultimately going to supply the brain stem. In this video, we're going to cover an alternative to that test, which is called Hauton's test. To perform Hauton's test, the patient's going to be positioned either in sitting or standing. I'll be demonstrating this in the standing position here. The patient's going to be instructed to lift both arms up to 90 degrees of shoulder flexion with both forearms supinated, so again, palms facing up, and the elbows straight. And at this point, their neck should be neutral on all planes, so just a normal resting neck position. Okay. Now, while maintaining the arms in the same position throughout the entire test, this position right here, the patient is instructed to tilt their neck backward into extension as far as they can. And they're going to hold this position for 30 seconds. And during this time, you're going to look for any subjective or objective signs or symptoms that suggest a positive result, meaning vertebrobasilar insufficiency. And those could be any of these, dropping in the arms, loss of balance, or any signs of ataxia, pronation of the hands, meaning a pronator drift sign, Notice the palms and the forearms are all facing up. That's the supinated position. If you slowly start to see one or both of the hands go slowly toward a neutral position with the thumb face up and even further into a pronated position with the palms facing down, that would be a pronator drift sign. Any of the five Ds, dizziness, diplopia, dysarthria, dysphagia, drop attacks, nausea and vomiting, and it doesn't have to be full vomiting release onto the floor. It could just be a strong sensation that they need to vomit, which kind of constitutes nausea. Any sensory changes, numbness, paresthesias, these would be most common in the face, but they could occur in the neck and rarely the upper extremities in the case of the vertebrobasilar arteries. And any nystagmus noted in the eyes. If the patient experiences any of these symptoms, that constitutes a positive result. And not only should you stop the test immediately, you should send them to the emergency room because at the very least they're having insufficient blood flow to the brainstem, but they could be having an active dissection, which could be fatal. Stop the test, get them to the ER. However, if no symptoms present, well then you're gonna proceed to the second test position where the patient is instructed to add as much rotation in one direction as possible. So maintain the arm position and the cervical extension and for example, we'll add left rotation. And the patient's gonna hold this position for 30 seconds. Again, you're assessing for any of these symptoms up here. And if they have any of those symptoms, that's a positive result, stop the test immediately and send them to the emergency room. Once again, if no symptoms present, then you're gonna to proceed to the final test position, which is where the patient is instructed to keep that cervical extension and now rotate in the opposite direction as much as possible. So they were rotated left, now they're gonna rotate right. Again, hold that position for 30 seconds, assess for any of the symptoms right here. If they have any of those symptoms, stop the test immediately, send them to the ER. Again, once they finish that test position, the test is complete. Now a positive test is indicated by the production of vertigo symptoms or any of these other symptoms up here that are suggestive of vertebrobasilar insufficiency and or dissection. But the big question is how do you differentiate between an active dissection slash insufficiency and vertigo? Well, if a patient has vertigo, they're gonna come in complaining of dizziness and that dizziness is also gonna be accompanied by a subjective report that the room is spinning a visual change that the room is spinning. That being said, before you perform Hauton's test, you should probably ask that if when the patient's dizzy, they report a visual change with the room spinning. If they answer yes to that, then more than likely we're talking about BPPV, a type of vertigo. However, if they say no to that, then you need to be more cautious with this test because any of these symptoms that are reproduced might be more along the lines of implicating the vertebrobasilar artery. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.